Hello friends, this is Samuel once again from Sony Tech and welcome to our Firebase React Native Expo series. Okay, so for this very one, we'll be looking at implementing Firebase version 10 authentication inside of React Native Expo using TypeScript. TypeScript has become the popular tool for most developers now, or JavaScript developers now. Okay, so for part two, we'll be looking at implementing the forgot password um, functionality inside of your app, and we'll also be looking at how to implement the email verification tool in your app. We'll also be looking at how to implement the Firestore database tool. Uh, when the user signs up, we are going to um, upload his or her details to the cloud and we can retrieve it and use it, use it at the dashboard or any part of the app. I'm pleased about that. Okay, so I'll see you in the tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a like, please share, please comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is the project to be working on. So it comes with a minimalistic design. So this is the sign-in screen or the login screen. This is the forward password screen. And this is the sign-up screen too as well. Okay, so great. Let me make this smaller and walk you through my code. Okay, so I'm going to be fair and very transparent here so this is a way of learning so the best way to learn is to use a documentation okay so great so i'm going to work you through my starter code so i have my firebase um folder and which has a firebase file so i'm going to show you where i got this um starter files or starter code from so you're going to be changing this when we create our own firebase or a new firebase project in the cloud okay so great so let me open my browser so this is the Firebase documentation. So when you go to firebase.google.com and you go to the signing with web. So I'll leave the link to this in the description. Okay, so this is to add um user authentication. Okay, so everything is here. Okay, so great. And uh, I exported the DB and auth. Okay. And this is my navigation. So this is my auth stack. So um we have the dashboard and the profile. And this is my initial screen. So this is what the user sees when he, he or she starts tapping. So the onboarding screen, the login and sign up and forgot password screen. Okay, so this is the navigation screen. So there's a check here if there's a user and the user is shown the odd stack or the initial screen. Okay, so that is if the user hasn't signed in. Okay, so great. So this piece of code, which is the use effects, which checks if there's a user and sets the user, sets the user to the user. Okay, I know that makes it's not making sense, but this is um the use effect. Okay, so I'm going to show you where this one to is. So it's here. So set an authentication state observer and get the user data. Okay, so great. All right, guys. So now let's go ahead and create our Firebase project. Okay, so go or open your browser, your favorite browser. In my case, Microsoft Edge. So Firebase or Google.com and click here, go to console okay so let's give this some time okay so it's loading so click on add projects and type your project so i'm going to do art youtube art and um, youtube um typescript okay so great so i'm going to hit on continue i'm going to disable this we don't need any google analytics i want to hit on create project okay I hope you're having fun. Let's give this some time. Boom, boom, boom. All right, our project is ready. So let's hit on continue. Let's give this some time. Okay, so great. Okay, so um, next step is to click on web. So we have iOS and Android. I'm going to give my project a name. Um, what should I call it? Hot, um, YouTube, YouTube and TypeScript, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to check this. I'm going to hit on register. And boom. Okay, so first and foremost, it's supposed to um, install Firebase, whether with NPM or YAN. So you can do NPM, install Firebase or YAN, add Firebase. I made a video on NPM and YAN, so you can check that video up. It's going to pop up, up at the right um, side of the screen. Okay, so now let's grab this, guys. Um, let's grab this. Okay, so I'm going to click on continue to console, but then let me replace this so that I have my Firebase file because this is a new project. Okay. Okay, let me format this. Okay, so great. 
Okay, so the next step is to click here and go to authentication and get started. And there are lots of signing methods. So Google, I'll be making a video on how to implement Google sign in soon. Okay, so this is for email and password. I'm going to enable this because that's what you need. Okay, so great save. And now let's check the user staff. So there's no one here because it's not done any authentication yet. Okay, so now all right, so great. So now let me show you something in my package of JSON. So I installed Firebase and React Native Safe Context Area and the navigation. So React Native slash native and native stack. That's all I need. Okay, so now let's go ahead and implement the login functionality. So let me go into my screens and grab okay so login.txt okay so great okay so here i have my navigations and i'm checking the type so navigation and any okay so let's start something okay so here i'm going to write a function give it a name so i'm going to call it handle um sign up oh it's a sign up or sign in um okay so sign in let me copy this and let's start something I'm going to do const and paste this here. Okay, so I have a state here called loading and set loading. So this is going to check if we are waiting for Firebase for what is GitHub Copilot giving me. I don't need any of this. Okay, so um, so let's start. So first of all, most I'm going to set loading to be true. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to do sign in with email and password. And I'm going to pass auth and email. I'm going to pass password. Okay, so with the email, we can do email dot trim. Okay, so just to get rid of some white spaces and issues with that. Okay, so nice. Okay, so I'm going to do a dot then blog. Inside the then I'm going to pass the user credentials. So user credentials. Oh, you know something? Let me just go and grab the code up in the cloud and put it here to save time. Okay, let's just write. Okay, so once I'm going to do okay, thank you, GitHub Copilot, and I'm going to set loading to be false. So once I've gotten the user credential, I'm going to set loading to be false. And I'm going to give an alert that oh, okay, so successfully logged in. Login sucks. How do you spell successful? Okay, so nice. Login successful. Okay, so great. Okay. Um. Okay, then let's catch any error. So dot catch. I'm going to catch any error. An error is a type of any. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to alert the error the message. Okay, so let me get rid of this extra guys. Okay, so now let me fix this. Um okay. What's the issue again? What's the issue? What's the issue? What's the issue? Okay, I think there's another guy here. Okay, so great. Okay, so now um TypeScript is not yelling at us. Okay, so remember to always import the square bit has have changed how they do the accents okay so great so we are i think we are done with our handle um, signing function so this is all you need so first time for me i'm going to set loading to be true okay so now we can do something here um let me cut this and do if loading we're going to
okay so we can do um login in else or you can render an activity indicator or else login okay so guys okay so we have no issue okay so now let's jump to our sign up screen and um put something here so sign up so it's basically the same thing i'm going to copy paste so cons handle sign up let me grab this bad boy do 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 let me grab whatever is here it's basically the same thing um put it I'm going to put it here and sorry okay so now let's change this to create user email and password and that is important for me okay so great okay so now let's make some modifications here so um oh accounts created successful successfully okay so now because of um let's use async async and we can await okay so great i'm saving this let's do same for this bad boy so async and we can put our it here okay so great so now let's try this all fingers cross so now let's pass our name so let's see um samuel and email so sam at gmail.com and the password um let's make it one one two three four five six seven eight okay so now let's create account and see oh what's happening okay this is the interesting part of development so now let's try and see if you can debug together okay what's wrong what's wrong i'm going to reload my app and see okay so um i think it's from here so now let me put this function where it belongs um where are you where are you where are you where are you okay so good okay so great okay so now let's try one more time and um let's try some some somewhere at gmail.com okay so if you love my content and you like to help me um consider uh, or the best way to help me is to subscribe okay you can also buy me a cup of coffee too so link will be in the description down below okay, so now let's create an account so it's creating an account so ux so boom okay so we get some response here okay so account successfully created and, and we are redirected to the dashboard so this is the dashboard here okay so great okay so now um let's implement the sign out functionality okay so um let's do handle sign out okay i'm going to copy this and okay so let's do const i'm going to pass this here and async okay so we're going to do await as an odd dot sign out just like so when we are done okay so great all right guys so i went ahead and added this model here so i imported this alert so um and alert dot alert to act with if he really wants to um log out so let me get rid of this one this is not important okay so don't press and i pass in the function here okay so now let's try so sign out do you really want to log out and boom oh nothing happened okay so now let's try again
okay so now let's try again um i'll fix the issue okay so sign out and log out okay so now let's try logging in and see so it was some more okay first and foremost let's check our firebase um this is the project on github so now let's refresh okay so it's somewhere at gmail.com so the user is here okay so now let's try logging in so somewhere at gmail.com password was one to eight i think one two one Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so great. So, oh, I thought it's wrong. Okay, so guys, um, thanks so much for watching this video. This is um essentially the end of everything. Don't forget to give this video a like. Um, be looking forward to the part two to be coming soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.